Welcome, welcome, welcome everyone to day six of our seasonal reset with me, Nina. I'm glad that you're here. We are going to be doing a lymph drainage practice today. So let's get ourselves going. Let's pull ourselves to ourselves. For those of you who don't know me yet, I am Nina. I've been teaching yoga since 2003. I'm also a yoga teacher trainer and a yoga health coach. All my details are in the descriptions below. And this little series is part of our seven day seasonal reset. And today we're going to be doing a little bit of a practice for lymph drainage that I have learned. So to start off with, stand nice and tall, close your eyes for a moment and maybe just allow your body to rock back and forth and just take a moment to think of like what would change in your body if you did this lymph drainage practice every day or once a week for the next 12 months? What would change in your body physically? What would change for you health-wise if you improved lymph drainage for yourself? Would that help with a little bit with water retention? Would that help with circulation? Would that help with detoxification? Would that mean that you can then be more flexible, more open, more supple? How and what would that change for you? And then as you allow yourself to come to a nice neutral standing point, think of a time when someone expressed deep gratitude towards you and how that made you feel and allow that feeling to spread through your whole body. And then when you're ready, you can open your eyes, do a few nice shoulder circles, and the other way. And to start off with, you're going to bring your hand onto your collarbone up here, and you're just gently going to rub that collarbone back and forth. This, literally, this practice literally could take you two or three minutes. We're going to take it a little bit longer, tap it a few times because I'm explaining to, to you but once you've got the sequence this can literally and now circle in one direction and then circle the other way this could literally take you two or three minutes you could even do it in the shower when you're showering same thing other side I'm not going to quite do it because my mic's on the side so you're going to rub that left collarbone you're going to tap it a few times and then you're going to circle in one direction and then you're going to circle in the other direction. So we start here because this is kind of like the area where you've got the most, the kind of like you start with like opening up the biggest area so that things can move. Then you move to the right side of your neck and you just gently, the neck is a, a, a tender area. So you're just gently going to rub up and down the right side of your neck. You're going to tap just very, very gently up kind of like to behind the ear. We all know that we've got like lymph nodes in this area. And then you're going to circle in one direction. And then the other way, and then we do the same thing on the other side, just gently rubbing up and down the side of your neck here. Give it a little bit of a tap, circle, and circle the other way. Good. And then we move into the armpits. So again, for women, breast, chest, bust area, very, very important. You're going to be rubbing into that area. Good. This is my favorite. And gently tap. Tap, 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 tap. Direction. Circle in the opposite direction. There you go. Other side. Under that kind of like armpits, chest bust area. You're giving that a bit of a rub. You're waking it you're waking it up a little bit more. Then you're circling in one direction and then you're circling in the opposite direction. Right, moving into the abdomen area, again, you can just gently rub or actually go in a clockwise direction, I should say. There you go. Give it a good tap. And again, clockwise direction. You can put a decent amount of pressure on here, on your abdomen. It feels really, really good. Abdominal massage is so amazing. That's it. And then moving into the groins. So from here you're just gently rubbing into the area of the groins into the or again we all know that we've got lymph nodes here in the groin area we're going to be tapping and what we're doing is we're starting from the top and then circle in one direction and then opening up kind of like as a chain effect so if you start for example in the groins and you haven't opened up in the collarbones kind of like the lymph can't flow so that's why we start at the top and then move in this direction all right, and then from here, we're going to move behind the knees. So you just, again, rub behind the knees and tap, 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 tap. 
circle in one direction, circle the other way. So can you see how easy this little sequence is? You can do it kind of like first thing in the morning, just being in the bathroom, standing up, and then a nice way to end is just a little bit of bouncing. So if you have a trampoline, that's even better. Rebound, where you could just literally go on there and bounce for a minute or two. Craig has just come back from his cycle. Um, and just allow everything to kind of like move up. And then I always love ending with a little bit of kind of that breath of joy just to get, I don't know, the lungs flowing. It feels so good. So all you do is kind of like in, 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 and then out. So on the inhalation, you're breaking it into three parts and then you're exhaling out. Let's do three rounds. So you're going. So one more just feels so good. And release, stand nice and tall. Notice how you feel. Take a moment to acknowledge the amazing, awesome human being that you are and that you took literally five minutes of time for yourself this morning. And then when you're ready, you can open your eyes. And thank you so much for practicing with me. It was lovely to have you here. Remember, day seven, final day tomorrow, we are going to be doing a little bit of a yoga sequence, yoga flow, salute to the sun. So be sure to join me for that. And I will see you then. Have a gorgeous day. If you'd like a little bit more info on my upcoming seasonal reset, or if you'd just like to get the 10-step process for free, head down into the descriptions below, and you can get all that information there.